If you watch my videos, you will get better at using the two most important subjects we have at our disposal, and as a result, I think you will stand a much better chance at achieving your goals and actualizing your full potential. So I say this in just about every video that I record, but I think of reading and writing as mankind's oldest intellectual tools. And they are mankind's oldest intellectual tools for a reason. They can change your life. For the past few years, I've taught reading and writing intensive undergraduate courses at Johns Hopkins University. And now I want to give you that information for free. I'm not selling you anything. All I ask is that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you ever have any questions about reading and writing, shoot me a comment um, or just, just say hi and let's chop it up. But I want to get into it. So let me tell you about my journey from leading lectures at one of the most prestigious American universities to BookTube. Okay, so this is the second time I have recorded booktube newbie tag questions. I don't have a bookshelf, so I'm just going to stack up all my books. These aren't all of them. This is like a small portion, but it seems like it would be funny if at some point they are just very, very high. So I might do that. We'll see how it goes. I, I would have to plan to stack them so high, so I haven't done that yet. But this is the second time anyways I've done booktube newbie tag questions. I'm going through the same questions, but I want to hit them faster because last video just felt slow to me. Um, so yeah, and I've just accepted that I'm probably going to have to just upload like a thousand videos. Um, so we'll see. It's fine playing the long game. Let's begin. So in today's video, I'm going to be running through a couple of questions, half of like the official booktube newbie tag questions. So why did I start this channel? I'm going to be talking about um, what are some fun and unique things I can bring to the booktube community? What are <laughs> what am I most excited for about this new channel? And that'll close it out. And then I'll cover the second half next week. I want to just try to do rapid fire, but still give you kind of a good idea of who I am. I don't want to make like a, a, a an hour long video running through all the questions. So I'll chop it up in two different videos and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Why did I start this channel? I started this channel because I love teaching, but I hate working for universities. If you are interested in why I don't like working for universities, leave me a comment and I will tell you more about it. And maybe at some point I'll make a video because I do have a lot to say about it. Um, I was, you know, I spent four years in undergrad and then two years in graduate school earning my master's. So I kind of got to see or experience the university uh, system, model, whatever you want to call it, from both sides. Um, so, yeah, thoughts. Yeah, anyways, leave a comment if you're interested. So I started this channel when I was in graduate school at Johns Hopkins. I taught reading and writing intensive courses, literature courses, fiction workshops, poetry workshops. I started this channel like seven months before, before graduating. I got to what I enjoyed about teaching at the university level was I got to share what I think of as the life-changing powers of writing with students who for the most part were unfamiliar with creative writing, with fiction, with poetry. They'd read some most of the time, but um, most of my students at Johns Hopkins were engineers, um, they were, they were pre-med track, they were pre-law, uh, business majors, so not so many humanities people um, so yeah, it was just a, for many of my students, it was their first time kind of dabbling in, in creative writing, which I, I really enjoyed. I think there are very few things that can improve the quality and the trajectory of our lives, um, more than, more than reading and writing, more than reading and writing fiction and or poetry. Maybe you'll, you'll disagree with that. If you do, leave me a comment. If you're wondering why I think that, leave me a comment, um, yeah, and I will type you paragraphs. You're probably going to hear me say that a lot in this video. But I want to be for you what I was for my students at Johns Hopkins University. That's why one of the big reasons why I created this channel. I want to help you master the verbal arts, master reading, master writing, so that you can accomplish your goals and actualize your full potential. 
So that's the project of this. <laughs> that's the project of this channel. I'm not your teacher. I want to give you valuable information regarding reading and writing and speaking and thinking, but I want to do it for free and make it as convenient and easily accessible as possible. Okay, question number two. What are some fun and unique things I can bring to BookTube? So if you watch my videos, you're effectively sitting in on a high-level reading and writing intensive literature course, literacy course, whatever you want to call it. That's what you're sitting in on. So I'll try to, I'm just going to draw up the scripts as I would a lecture um, for, my, for my students at Hopkins. And more than that, I've taught reading and writing courses at the highest level. I have a deep understanding of the subjects and I know how to package them in such a way that won't put you to sleep, at least in uh, theory. <laughs> um, eventually, I want to teach full-length courses on this channel using some of the same syllabi I used while I was at Johns Hopkins. I've got a bit more building, I think, until I get to that point, but eventually that is what I'd like to do. I'd like this to be, you know, effectively, I, I'd like to be teaching multiple classes at the same time and have people collaborating in the comments. So that's the long-term vision, but right now we're just trying to scale up to that point but I am hopeful uh, but if you're interested or you think you might be interested tell me what central concepts or themes or books you'd like for me to to talk about um, in in the future so uh, fun and interesting things I also have two corgis there is Finnegan and Moby uh, Finnegan named after the wake and Moby the whale so those are those are my dogs. I want to take a brief second to suggest a book for anybody who's interested, How Fiction Works by James Wood. Um, this, was, this has been a, a really valuable book for me as a writer, but also as a reader. Um, this is something I taught, a book I taught at Hopkins. So yeah, if you are interested in reading anything about the craft of writing, I recommend picking up that book. Okay, on to the next. Okay, question number three. What am I most excited for about this new channel? So the channel isn't exactly new. It's been around for about a year. I have like a hundred videos. Most of them are very, very bad. Um, but we're trying to make them better. So anyways, I'm most excited about teaching you how to be a better reader, a better writer, a better thinker, and a better speaker so that regardless of the direction you want to take your life, whether your passion is business or medicine or real estate, or maybe it is writing, um, I want to help you become a better writer, thinker, writer, reader, thinker, speaker, so that you can more easily rise to the top of whatever field you're pursuing or whatever career you're working in. I'm basically taking the same approach that I took to to um, my lectures at, at Hopkins. My channel isn't necessarily new, as I've already said, like 100 videos, but all of them aren't exactly good. I, I just got this new mic, and I'm really trying to figure out how to produce high-quality videos um, in a way that's scalable and and yeah, so that's kind of what I'm going for going for now. I'll be uploading hopefully four times a week, short story Sunday, where I, you know, some, all of these videos will have some concept, some key idea, but it'll be based around a text, a short text that you'll usually almost always be able to find for free on the internet. So yeah, let's see, where was I? I went off my notes. I'm trying to stay on notes because I have a tendency of just going all over the place and I got to focus. So bear with me. Um, yeah, so uh, whatever. Recently, I got this fancy mic. Uh, I want to grow this channel to help as many people as possible. And um, yeah, a lot of recent feedback I got is that I should, should simplify. So I'm trying to simplify. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's what I'm excited for simplifying. Um, I have a tent, like I said, I, 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 in previous videos that I like James Joyce, I love James Joyce. I think everybody should read, everybody should read Dubliners and, you know, maybe not, uh, Portrait or Ulysses, although I do think they're great books, but they can be beasts to work through. But I do recommend them. My point in talking about Joyce is that Joyce is crazy. Joyce is a mad lad and, um, Joyce does, Joyce isn't simple. And I think my love of Joyce has kind of made me more prone to, uh, to just babbling. Um, so I don't know, that's probably an oversimplification, but anyways, 
Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to simplify and as a result, I'll be uploading more. I'm shooting for three or four uploads per week, booktube Tuesday, writing vlog Wednesday, um, maybe like a reading vlog Thursday, fiction file Friday, short essay Sunday. I know that's five, but it's tentative. Um, we'll see what happens. Let me know which of those options sound most interesting in the comment section down below. And like I said, I, like I said, have said, will say, I will type you paragraphs. I love being, <clears throat> see, that's one thing. The voice cracks are just going to be off the chart now. I'm prone to voice cracks. And with this mic picking up everything, I am going to be embarrassing myself sometimes. But anyways, um, I love being in the comments. I, I love talking about reading and writing. So if you have any questions, if there's anything that you're particularly interested in, let me know. Okay, in closing, in next week's booktube tuesday i'll be talking about the second half of the booktube newbie tag question set which are why do you love reading uh, what book or series got you into reading what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome okay so that wraps up me talking about the first three first three questions of the booktube newbie tag questions there's probably a more official way to say that but you know here here we are um, now that you know a little bit about me i hope you'll hit that subscribe button hit the like button and share some of your experiences with reading and writing in the comment section down below so i want to thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day um, know that i am wishing you good health and wealth um, and i will see you next time.